Hello Tab Nation, Tom Beach here with you guys today with a very cool video. Don't know why I've never thought to do this before until this week. I have my, I'm not going to say her name because it will trigger her, and Echo device from Amazon. And I was thinking, I wonder if there's some way I could use it to you know do whatever on my computer and basically use auto hockey so i was actually very surprised how simple it was and uh on my very first try it worked instantly which <laughs> for anybody who's done a lot of scripting you know that's not a very common thing that that just doesn't want to work for you a lot of the times um so yeah let's take a look at how to do that if you guys like this video or want to check out my other videos, definitely hit that subscribe button, bell notification, because I'm doing usually about two, possibly three videos every week. So yeah, let's take a look. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this website, and I will obviously put this in the description below, but we're looking for this program called Trigger CMD, or Trigger Command. And that's just triggercmd.com. And uh, yeah, go here, scroll on down, and pick out what you're going to be using. I'm going to be using Windows today, but this also works on Linux and Mac. Don't know if it works exactly the same as in this video because I do not have access to recording on my Linux machine, and I no longer have an Apple computer. It's been a while. Nothing against them, just... I'm more into gaming, so I stick with Windows. Push download. It'll download to your desktop or, you know, your downloads file, wherever you put that. And it's just a normal setup. I already have it installed, so I'm not really going to show that. And once that's downloaded, uh, run it. It does auto start when your computer uh, turns on by default. And then you're going to right click on the icon at the bottom, which I know you can't see right now. But trust me, it's there. You're going to get this. It's going to say loading commands if you didn't see that just now. I don't know why when I when I'm not <laughs> when I'm not recording my videos and I'm playing with this stuff everything seems so slow. But then when I show you guys everything works instantly. From now on I'm just going to record everything I do. Apparently that makes my computer faster, which makes no sense to me. So by default this will actually come with a few uh, commands in it. So it got like right here it got calculator and notepad. All those are doing is running them. I honestly don't want these, so I'm just going to push the little X thing here and get rid of them. And we're just going to focus on this one right here. So you can push add a command. You're going to get this drop down where you can fill everything out. And the nice thing is it does give you kind of like a little description in each one about what it is. I was a little confused by this at first, but it was pretty easy to understand after a, a simple test. And, uh, yeah, but we're going to look at the one I already have pre-made. We're not going to push play. We're going to push edit. So the trigger is, was kind of misleading to me. That's basically just the name. W what do you want to name this? As you see, I can't move this window, can I? That's just the name of your script right there. That's all that is. Don't know why they didn't just say, like, name your trigger or something. So the command is going to be... The file path location of your whatever you're running you know notepad or calculator like it had but we want to use auto hotkeys here so I got a little full file here and this is pointing to that file uh, the next thing I'm going to do is voice and voice is basically what you're gonna say to your echo device almost left that slip there and then the voice reply, uh, you can leave this blank if you just kind of want that normal like echo beep beep that confirms. But I'm going to have it answer back to me saying I ran your script. Allow parameters. Um, for this one, I'm just putting false. Uh, this is where you can add like more. So after I say the vo uh, script, I'll be like, you know, run script. I could say, like, run script with the parameter of cats. And let's say my script has, like, a run Google command. I could have it 
go to Google and automatically search for cats. So this is a cool way to kind of add a parameter to be a little bit more flexible and put, basically put in a variable into your code. It's really cool. So let's take a look at the script I got here for AutoHotKeys. Somewhere. Got too many of these open. There we go. I'm literally just doing message box Alexa. Whoops. Never mind. <laughs> Ale oh my gosh. It's such a habit. <laughs> Echo told me to run. Uh, that's all I'm doing. Obviously here you can go crazy. You could put a run Chrome, Google this. Uh, you could put like a DLL call in here to shut your computer down. So maybe you go to jump in bed and you're like, oh man, I left my computer on. You could just tell your Echo, turn my computer off. and I'll do it for you. It's really cool. So this is kind of the phrase you're going to be saying. Um, for, in order for this to work, you do need to go onto the application on your phone for it and download the trigger command, uh, what are they called, skills. Super small download, takes no time, no setup really. You just got to log in using like your Gmail or your Facebook. You know, real simple stuff, nothing special. And this is what you're going to say. I'm just going to replace this word with uh, trigger or uh, echo. Echo, tell trigger command. Now here you can say trigger command or you can say tr trigger CMD. I just like saying command because it's easier. So trigger command to run script. And this is that voice thing where we had that right there, voice script. I mean, you could put anything here. You could be like, run the script. So you could put the script here, whatever you want. And it's going to reply back, I ran your script. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't connect. I don't know. Some type of bad connection or something. It will also let you know that it failed. I think it gives you like a little ring of death or whatever you want to call it yeah let's try this out let's make sure i don't have any scripts running at all we are good to go so we're going to say hopefully you pick up what her reply back is i'm not sure if my microphone is kind of aimed at only this little spot to capture voice alexa tell trigger command to run script i'm running the script all right, hopefully you heard that, but it said it ran the script. And there's my message box. It's really fast, actually. I honestly, when I first tried this, I was kind of expecting there to be like a few second lag. That was like only one second. So I thought that was really cool. So yeah, let me know what you guys are going to use this for. I'm kind of contemplating a whole bunch of ideas on how to automate my computer from anywhere in the house maybe uh i don't know i have my computer turned on and i'm like you know switch to game mode and it just launches you know the last game i was playing opens up my youtube music so i can listen to that while i play and then that way i can be you know throwing some hot pockets in the microwave getting ready for this <laughs> uh, yeah let me know if you guys have any questions if there's anything i missed in here and uh yeah Maybe I'll do a second video once I get a full working script besides this little message box. All right, guys. Enjoy.